In 1716, William Haydock of Cotton Hall was said to have been outlawed for his part in supporting the Jacobites, but there is no direct recorded evidence that he took any active part in the Battle of Preston. He was unmarried with no heir and wrote his will in 1713, aged only around 42. That he died in 1717 might suggest he was not perhaps in good health. His death was the end of the Haydock's ownership of the Manor of Cotton. His will was proved in 1717 and he left his manor and other lands and tenements in Ingall, Preston, Ashton, Lear, Woodplumpton, Freckleton and elsewhere to trustees to be sold after his death. Under law, his priest brothers were not allowed to inherit the estate, but he left legacies to them. His cousin, George Haydock of Leech Hall, now Bartle Hall, was an executor of the will in which his own son, Gilbert, William Haydock's godson, received a bequest. But George Haydock wasn't interested in his son taking any responsibility for Cotton Hall, and in 1730 he sold his interest to George Farrington of Worden Hall. In the late 1700s the estate was sold on to John Cross of Redscar, and it was the Cross family who pulled down the hall in the 1850s. In the Tildesley Diaries, Joseph Gillow wrote that Mary Haydock, one of the later family of the Leech Hall Haydocks, used to tell her children that when she was only five or six years old, she remembers Bonnie Prince Charlie passing along Sidgreaves Lane in Lear during the Second Jacobite Rebellion of 1745. She was lifted up by her father to see the Scots pass by, and her family gave them food. Mary died on the 15th of August, 1809, aged 69.